section two, town code chapter 611. Funds, excuse me, Mr. Welch. The funds is the thing that always sticks because it means money. Uh, yeah. Mr. Chairman, um, following the discussions with the auditor and uh, the discussions dealing with the unreserved, the former unreserved and designated fund balance, um, and as you know, they've changed the name so that we will always be confused because it's now the unassigned fund balance. <laughs> Um, there has been a basic change in the auditing format of municipal auditing, and from now on, we are not going to see the arrears and taxes except for the municipal portion. So we need to change, uh, because of some of the verbiage is incorrect now, we need to change uh, the code, uh, Chapter 611 of the Town Code, dealing with the un unassigned fund balance to bring it in conformance with what the auditors have told us we need to have. And in doing that, uh, we're going to change everywhere it reads un un unreserved and designated fund balance uh, to be the uh, unassigned fund balance. And we're going to uh, realign the unassigned fund balance definition so the balance of the unassigned fund shall once accumulated at all times be no less than the balance of unpaid property taxes due the town. And remember, this has been amended. Uh, to be collected by the tax collector is shown on the auditors by the auditors in the last completed audit plus five percent of the net adjusted appropriations of the taxes to be raised for the town for municipal purposes exclusive of school county and precinct taxes as recommended by the new hampshire department of revenue administration and calculated under general accounting standards uh, we also would amend uh, section 611.4 uh, to include the words unassigned, uh, and we would uh, amend section 611-61D of Article 2 to remove the words administrator and substitute the word manager. And uh, that would be it, sir. That brings us into conformance with what the auditors had done in this audit statement and the changes in the audit procedures. It's a long, boring dissertation. But questions mr. Waddell yeah so Fred number one we're changing words to we are definition. changing words yeah number two we're going along with what the auditors have recommended and what the Department of uh, Revenue Administration DRA says is the unassigned balance right actually we're incorporating in here what the auditors have actually done to the audit okay all right so we are not changing the amount Mm -hmm. No. No. We're not changing the For amount. For all intents and purposes, we're not changing the amount or how we get the amount. Right. Okay. What we're changing here is to make sure that the changes, when, when the auditors changed and when the auditing system changed so that we no longer have as part of our accrued balance of unpaid taxes, the school, the county, the two schools, the county and the precinct, uh, that in fact changes the amount of money that we have compilated into this, which is now a million dollars, or roughly a million dollars, where before it was roughly two million dollars. So, so in effect, if you had those others in there, if you have the school, the municipal, the, the county, and the and the district, that's not our money, really. That's that's we collect it. We collect it, but then it goes it, to somebody it goes else. To someone else. So it make our unassigned fund look larger than it is. Well, and that's why the auditors have in fact changed the audit report to represent only the town portion. So if you now go and look at the school portion, which used to have zero for taxes due, or refunds due, they have a due to due from from the town, but it didn't relate to taxes or property taxes. All of their unpaid property taxes were on our financial statement, making our statement look far worse than it really was. Right. So that's, the mechanics here are to change that because they've changed it in the accounting system and the audit system. Right, so it's not, so all the uh, due in the public statements there about that we were changing everything in 611, we're not. We're just coming into compliance with the audit requirements as they stand in 2015. Okay. And these are requests by the DRA and the, the auditors? No, the auditors have already done it, and we simply, in reviewing this with the auditors, and they informed us of this change. We said we need to amend this to bring into compliance with those changes. I think I think the, the same gentleman that got up here today and spoke is also the same gentleman that came into the town office back uh, 
a couple weeks ago and had the same misinformation and uh, I'm glad you've been able to clear that up. Thank you. Mrs. Wolseley. I didn't think to bring the audit with me tonight. What, do you know what page or in what section the auditors, I'll have to go back and look at my copy. Well, what they've uh, done is, is when you look at the balance statement, it used to have four um, categories of reserved and unreserved funds, and they were all headed right. uh, unreserved or undesignated right. or reserved and, right. and designated. And now they're the ones that we're principally interested in is the unassigned fund balance, and how they how they uh, arrive at that factor, which is contained within the audit. You have to read the audit report to understand it. Yeah, I'll have to go back and go through it. Uh, I have a problem with this. I have no problem with changing the terminology from unreserved, undesignated to unassigned. That's not a problem. However, I would have liked to have had a calculation. Um, I confess to not being a mathematician as to what dollar figure we're going to come up with um, if we make this change. On the report provided to us, the fund balance retention report that was provided to us by DRA uh, October 20th, um, shows current amount retained 7.43% uh, in the amount of $4,557,505. Um, yeah, Jim mentioned something about collect, uh, collecting the taxes and going to someone else. My tax bill includes town, two school districts, county, and I do not pay the precinct tax. But it seems to me that it is logical to make sure that you are retaining an amount in that ballpark. Do you do you have a rough figure, Fred, instead of the four million five fifty seven whatever? We have what? about two million dollars worth of unpaid taxes. For it's not just the unpaid taxes that's that's factored. Well we've given you a copy okay. of several times we've given the board a copy of the unreserved undesignated fund balance. Mm, right. Which was signed. On a signed uh, fund balance. I, I still have yeah, a yeah. hard time getting Here it rid is of that right language. here on the right under 611.6. Right. But but what I'm so we next year you think of the MS 535 that we have from here it is right here showing the fund balance retention. This it says 2015 fund balance retention. So this was calculated, it's calculated in October. By, it's calculated by DRA. By DRA. Yeah. And that's what I would expect to have, what I would expect to see as the fund balance retention. If we are removing a school, county, and precinct taxes, um, and I don't, I, I'll go back and look at my, my um, audit, uh, it, it would be substantially less than that, I think. And I think that's a concern because we're talking, when, when we are collecting taxes, what was it, 53 million? For 2015, we collect the taxes for everybody. Yes, we do. That's what I'm saying. But are those taxes um, are an assignment. It's a due to, due from. Yes. It's not part of the municipal tax se section. We have to have the money to pay those taxes for everybody, counties and school districts that are out of the finance office, don't we? We do. We have that. So money. we need to have the assigned, unassigned fund balance as part of that, they need the money up there. The unassigned fund balance simply gives us enough funds so that we don't go borrow and lose tax. Right, right. That's not gonna change, the amount of money we have isn't gonna change. Well, what what amount of money are we gonna be putting aside in lieu of that four million and change when we, when we change the calculation and remove school, county, and precinct? That's what the, I'm getting The at. money that we put aside is gonna be no different than what's there now. Still be, gonna be four plus, plus million dollars. I, I, I'm not comfortable voting on this until I can see a calculation. Okay. Any other comments? No, for the moment. <laughs> Mr. Bean. Negative, sir. Okay. What do we need to do here, Mr. Welch? Um, either make a motion or don't make a motion. <laughs> I guess that's the I, bottom Could you line. frame the motion, please, Mr. Welch? Uh, to, if the motion is in the positive, to yes. uh, amend Section 611 in accordance with uh, the proposal presented to the board. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Unopposed. And one against. Yep. That needs a bit.